Now today I'm going to fry up some sea bass fillets and I'm going to serve mine with a quick sort of stir fry, nice and simple to do. And also I've got some quinoa as well. And it all comes together and it's just scrummy. So give it a go. So what I'm going to do next is just go through the ingredients. Now I've got my sea bass fillets. I've got four of those with a skin on one side. Now what you need to do with the sea bass fillets is turn them over on the skin side. Just make some, you know, three or four cuts into the skin and then what you want to do is season it on both sides with salt and pepper and that's your sea bass ready to cook up. Now we're going to serve this with a quick stir fry almost and for that I'm going to use a good sized piece of fresh ginger, just peel it and then chop it down into like matchstick pieces. Same with the three chilies, mine are sort of medium heat chilies and then just you know cut it down into sort of matchstick pieces. With your three cloves of garlic, just peel those, slice those down. And then finally, we've got the uh, spring onions. Now, what I'd say with the spring onions is cut the ends off. And again, slice it lengthways and, you know, probably chop it into two or three pieces, you know, lengthwise. Add some soy sauce, about a tablespoon of dark soy sauce and fry it up nice and quick. And that can be served with the fish. The only other thing you're going to need is a little bit of oil and also salt and pepper seasoning to make sure you really season the fish well. So there's all the ingredients. Let's get it all prepared. Go over to the hob and get on with the cooking. So I've come over to the hob, I've got it all prepared. Now what I've done with the fish, you can see, I've dried the skin off and I've made some slits into the skin itself. So don't have all of those. And obviously all the vegetables are all chopped up, like sort of matchstick size. So we're ready to get on with the cooking. So I'm gonna start off, first of all, by seasoning the fish. Now what I'm going to do is season the sort of skin side first and when I've got it in the pan I'll just put some more seasoning on the flesh part. So let's start by seasoning that. Now what I will do is probably just do two of them at a time so because obviously I just can't fit them all in the pan. So a good bit of salt and pepper seasoning. Lovely. Then what we can do is you can almost kind of rub that in, get it into the fish, and then that is ready to be cooked. If you can, do try and dry your fish off because it's going to go into hot oil, and what you don't want to do is to have all the fat sort of jumping out. So I'm going to put some oil in the pan, get it fairly hot, and then we're going to place a couple of these fillets skin side down. So I've got the pan, and that's getting nice and hot. So just going to grab fish, so skin side down, like that, and don't forget, I did say about just seasoning the flesh part, like that, lovely. Now, I, I would say you probably want to cook for about five minutes or so until you've got a really nice colour underneath. Obviously, if it's too hot, you can always turn it down a little bit, but you do want to build that colour up. So keep an eye on it and, you know, check it now and again. Just lift up the fish, make sure you've got a beautiful colour on the skin side. Now, I've been cooking it just coming up to five minutes. So I'm just going to just very carefully lift that up. I think I'm just going to flip that over. Oh, look at that beautiful colour. Lovely, lovely. Let's do the same with the other one. That looks gorgeous. Now what I'd say is only cook for about a minute on this side. You're just trying to make sure that the other side, you know, it's, it's the flesh is all cooked all the way through. So about a minute. And then we're going to take that out. And I'm going to put it on a plate. Just turn it down fractionally. That's it. I think we're done. So just going to carefully lift that out. And I'll probably leave it outside because it just looks absolutely wonderful like that. And what we can do is just put a little bit of tin foil over there while you cook the other two and then you can serve it all up. Beautiful. So let's put a little bit of tin foil over here. Look at those. Gorgeous. And get on with the other ones. Now whilst I've got the second batch of fish cooking, again, just put a little bit of oil in there, and what we're going to do is 
to make that quick stir fry. So let's just put it all in. Now this is where your kitchen is going to start smelling amazing. Just give those a quick turnover. Now with the fish, it's had about five minutes, so quickly turn it over. Oh, lovely, just like the last one, beautiful. And again, just give the fish one more minute, carry on with the stir fry, and then we can bring it all together and have something yummy. Just keep moving those around. I'm gonna get my plate, put the fish on there. Look at that fish, looks beautiful. So let's take that pan off the heat and again cover this up with tin foil. The stir fry is going to take a couple of minutes. That's it. Just add that on there, two, two or three minutes, not very long. Now it's time to add the soy sauce in there. Like that. Oh yeah, beautiful. Now I reckon we could take that off the heat and go and serve that with the fish. Beautiful. Let's take that, take that over to the table and serve it all up. So I've come over to the table and look at that sea bass. Absolutely wonderful colour on there. Now obviously, you know, it's how, how you want to serve yours up. You can either just put this over the top, which is probably what I'm going to do, or you could, you know, individually put it on people's plates but I'm just gonna spread that around a little bit like that nice colour in there so why not just like that lovely 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 so I'm just gonna serve up a bit of that fish now I'm gonna serve mine with some quinoa which I made up a couple of days ago so I've got a separate video for that one so go and check that one out that's a nice healthy thing and it goes beautifully with this fish now I'm just going to lay my fish there like that, looks wonderful and we can obviously get a little bit more that stir fry mixture I think I'll have a little bit more of that it's going to be nice right let's uh, get stuck in and see what it's like now I'm going to start off with a bit of that fish there look at that, nice moist well cooked fish, crispy skin, beautiful Mm. You can hear that crunch. That is really delicious. It's well seasoned. That is absolutely beautiful. And obviously we've got this quick sort of stir fry that went with it. Chili, ginger, the soy sauce. And that complements the fish so well. Mm. Again, lovely, nice crunch. And they just work so well together. And obviously with this quinoa, it's nice and healthy. It's got lots of good things in here. And you know, it just goes beautifully with it all. Mm. Go and make this. It's not that difficult to make. And it, it just looks wonderful. Thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that. And the ratings and all the comments. And don't forget to ring the bell because then you get notified when I've got new videos coming out. See you on the next one, The Original Naked Chef.